From unexpected smackers right on some dead lips, to supposed baby faces being sent home with their tails between their legs. This bunch of wrestlers would likely prefer to keep these house show moments a secret. Ah well, I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 WWE house show moments wrestlers didn't want you to see. Number 10. The Tribal Chief Acknowledges a Young Fan At this current moment in time, there's an argument to be made that no character on WWE's modern main roster commits to their on-screen persona in quite the way SmackDown's resident Tribal Chief does. Since returning to the scene last year, Roman Reigns has been an unfiltered ball of cocky prick arrogance, and fans have adored every single second of it. Yet it's vital to remember that the head of the table hasn't once played up to those now cheering his name. Routinely finding ways to tear down whichever city he is in, and whichever babyface is thrown at him that week. In an unexpectedly sweet exchange in August, however, Reigns decided to drop his guard slightly, and tap back into his child-friendly traits of old. Coming during a live show which saw the champ team with his cousins, the Usos, Reigns decided to oblige a passionate youngster who was determined to fist bump the larger than life star. For a name who has worked so hard to rid himself of his former squeaky clean image, you can bet the big dog would rather you didn't clock this heartwarming act of kindness. Number 9. Baron Corbin shows he's not all bad. So this may not have technically gone down during a straight up live event, but as it came hot on the heels of an untelevised dark match, you can probably forgive me for including the touching moments on this list. Jumping back to 2017 in the land of WWE, and Baron Corbin was still very much a detestable heel capable of eliciting a sea of booze just from rearing his smug head. But on the back of a dark match battle with Shinsuke Nakamura after SmackDown and 205 Live was in the can, something surreal happened. The star who had never once shown a glimmer of face quality proved he does have a heart. One young fan in attendance was simply beside themselves that Corbin was on the losing side on the night. So Big Bad Baron decided to pick him up and make the youngsters night by wandering around ringside with him. Before you get too ahead of yourselves, Corbin Corbin was quick to note on Twitter, that was family, I don't care about other people's kids. Still, the one-time king most definitely has a soul after all. Number 8. The Big Dog Doesn't Stick His Landing Returning to the ruler of Friday nights, here we have that time a less experienced Roman Reigns learned the hard way to keep things simple during your entrance to the squared circle. Coming amidst his days riding with both Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins as part of the dominant S.H.I.E.L.D. faction, the Big Dog was clearly in the mood to show off some of his highly impressive athleticism on the house show circuit. However, instead of intimidating Cody Rhodes, Goldust and Big E stood opposite him by vaulting the top rope with his entire 6 foot 3 inch frame, the future Universal Champion made a right set of himself. Quickly realizing he'd miscalculated, Reigns crashed and burned right onto his ass, with Ambrose and Rollins simply watching on and wondering what in the holy hell he was trying to achieve with the extravagant entrance. Luckily, Reigns has left the top rope leapfrogging to the cruiserweights in recent times. But this particular trip was quickly immortalized on Reddit, and acts as a reminder of what happens when you maybe do a little bit too much. Number 7. John Cena's Letter of Apology to Kevin Owens' Son It's not exactly breaking news at this point that just about every Every wrestling fan under the age of 10 is a raging John Cena fanatic, and Kevin Owens' own son is no exception. However, with such devotion comes crushing heartbreak on occasion, and KO's boy was once left hanging by Super Cena at a live event, when John opted not to shake hands with his fans at the guardrail like he usually does on that specific night in Montreal. When informed about this as the two prepared some promos for an episode of Raw, Cena immediately apologized to Owens for his actions on the night, despite his rival admitting that his son was fine a minute later, that still didn't stop Cena apparently handwriting a two-page letter of apology to Owen, with Owens also confessing on the Talk is Jericho pod, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that, I don't know if John would be a big fan of me telling this. As it turns out, even faces that run places don't get it right all the time, but Cena's class still shone through in the end. Number 6. You can do better than this, Eugene A live crowd can be an unforgiving mirror for what is going down within a squared circle, and that's something that Nick Dinsmore un unfortunately discovered in situ back in 2005 during a Raw house show. Whilst under his popular but still no less controversial Eugene guys, Dinsmore had put in a shift at a live event which was clearly not to everyone's liking. As he wandered down the ramp, the Wrestling Observer newsletter reported that a fan sent the brutally honest critique of, you can do better than this, his way. Instead of blissfully ignoring the comment in typical Eugene fashion, Dinsmore decided to reportedly speak his mind, 
in a massively rare dropping of character beat. The one-time NXT trainer simply and depressingly admitted to the fan, I know, in his own voice. This response came in the midst of WWE doing everything in their power to ensure fans fully believed Dinsmore as Eugene, including having him stay in character whenever he was recognized outside of the company's walls. Sadly though, on this occasion, Dinsmore just couldn't hide his understandable frustration at his role from the world that night. Number 5. Randy Orton Doesn't Give a Toss The Randy Orton we see before us today feels like a completely different human being to the one who occupied various WWE live events during his younger years. In short, the Apex Predator was a bit of a dick, clearly looking as though he would rather be anywhere but performing in front of a stadium packed full of dedicated supporters. Orton would routinely goof off and take for granted the fact he was being paid to entertain those in attendance. It wasn't uncommon to witness him taking things a little too far when antagonizing watchers on breaking character on a whim, and just all around not giving a toss about how he acted when the cameras weren't catching him on either Raw or SmackDown. As time rolled by, Orton has become increasingly aware of how immature he was at this stage in his life, and now takes great pride and joy in whatever he does in between the ropes. But that still will not erase the various shots of him flipping off and patronizing WWE fans in buildings all around the world. Number 4. The Undertaker Goes Full Ultimate Warrior In terms of ridiculously protected gimmicks, it's hard to to look past Mark Calloway's demonic force of darkness as the most guarded character in WWE history. But even the Demon of Death Valley likes to let his hair down every now and again, and during one fateful night in Vienna, fans were treated to perhaps the most surreal showing the Phenom has ever produced. With Taker lining up alongside Triple H in a 3-on-2 handicap match against the villainous legacy trio of Randy Orton, Ted DiBiase Jr., and Cody Rhodes, the dead man was simply champing at the bit to receive a hot tag. Turning things up from zero to full Ultimate Warrior, Taker went berserk on the apron, pouring a full bottle of water over his long locks, and storming up and down the ring before finally being led off his leash. When he ultimately was, the crowd utterly lost their minds. However, as this was coming slap bang in the middle of a period where he was better known for slowly marauding around the ring and mesmerizing his opponents with intense demonic stares, he was likely hoping this brief trip into Hypeville would stay well away from the public eye but we're sort of glad it didn't. Number 3. Owen Hart Rattles Ahmed Johnson With Some Tunes As you've probably worked out already, the house show scene can be something of a playground for a wrestler, away from the need to stick to storylines and uphold a gimmick on weekly television. So it's not uncommon for stars to go out of their way to brilliantly rib their colleagues in this live event safe haven of sorts. That takes us nicely into the time Owen Hart opted to catch Ahmed Johnson off guard by taking over the AV system and playing Return of the Mac completely out of the blue at a house show. As highlighted in shots taken of Johnson's entirely confused face on the night, the star had no clue his match was about to be targeted by Hart's trademark penchant for pulling a fast one on his fellow wrestlers. In another incident, Hart also convinced Johnson, under the guise of a producer, that he'd been asked to appear on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Ahmed quickly donned his best suit and waited outside his hotel to be escorted in a limo, only for Owen to reveal he'd got in with yet another zinger. Ah, what a scamp. Number 2. Nikki Ash is booed out of the building Fans were quick to scoff at the concept of one-time badass sanity member Nikki Cross dropping her original gimmick in favor of her new superhero shtick. However, it soon became clear that Nikki had put a great deal of time and effort into pitching this idea to the boss and getting it off the ground. And it wasn't entirely surprising to see fans lose their minds upon witnessing her both win the 2021 Money in the Bank and Raw Women's title not long after. That's when the wheels began to fall off, though. Instead of rallying behind their new babyface champion, fans on the live event circuit rejected Nikki Ash almost immediately. Booing her out of the building when stood in the company of Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair, it's hard to get away from the fact that these damning reactions in front of crowds away from TV likely had a part to play in WWE deciding to take the belt away from her at SummerSlam. Will fans ever truly be on board with a star trying her utmost to become a real-life superhero? Or is this gimmick destined to be relegated to the spot of cheap comic relief? Number 1. Kurt Angle Steals a Kiss from the Dead Man As already noted, The Undertaker wasn't a star who was known for his willingness to drop his guard in front of a live crowd, so it soon became something of a game for the Dead Man's colleagues to see who could successfully force the iconic presence to break character. But perhaps the most notable attempt came during a house show appearance opposite an Olympic hero. As Kurt Angle confessed that he loved the legendary figure as they closed out their showing, the two embraced, only for the Olympic gold medalist to sneak a cheek 
sticky smooch onto his pal's lips. The crowd understandably lapped it up, with Taker quickly quipping that it was a long flight back to the States. Even all these years later, the wrestling machine is still quick to remind the Demon of Death Valley about the time he got him all flustered in front of a packed house, tweeting out recently, true love's kiss with the video attached. Sure he loved that. And that's our list. Know of any other house show moments wrestlers didn't want you to see? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you are watching is based on. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you as always for clicking on this video today. And I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.